morning. Hey, good morning. So today we're going to take you through the whole process of uh, what we do uh, with canning fish. We got a, we got a cooler full of uh, sockeye, Kenai River sockeyes. We're going to try something new this year. We got an old fashioned scaler that our buddy Jeff made for us. It's a little bottle caps, and uh, we're going to use it to knock the scales off these salmon. Well, we have the electric filet knife. It's uh, born out of necessity. Color that meat. Look at those eggs. And we're going to save those eggs and put them in a little treatment for later use of bait for the next species of salmon that'll be coming up the river on the silvers. Do you like to eat this? That we're not using, we're going to take back down to the river and dump in the river because in this complete cycle of life, these fish parts uh, feed the baby fish. So the baby salmon live off the food in the river for a couple years before they go head out back out to sea. We have a master filet tie here. Uh, my skill is in baiting the hooks. And that's why I'm called the master baiter. So there's our brine. You can see this, all kind of good stuff in there. And salt that is kosher salt or salt that has no iodine in it. We've got some uh, granulated garlic. Crushed red peppers. We've got a whole lot of pepper. I even threw in uh, a little bit of cumin. And of course we have the brown sugar. We're gonna sterilize our jars. I, I like to use these um, wide mouth jars. You can reuse them. You can reuse the rings. Uh, again, now you cannot reuse the lids. That you have to throw away and get new lids. Sterilizing these jars, I've got a couple of pots of soon to be boiling water and we're gonna put them in there. Well, we're gonna get a clean surface here for our food prep. Three tablespoons of Clorox in the, in the water. And uh, we use that to spray down the surfaces. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what we have that I put in these jars. We got some cumin, we have sriracha, olive oil, tomato sauce, this is Dash, organic no salt, and some pickled jalapeno. Also put chopped onions in this here bag. But watch out now. I'm gonna get there. Hey, those salmon fillets have come out of the brine, and we're getting them down here on the rack. And then I'm gonna put you. Alright, we got our salmon fillets out here on the racks of the smoker. They're drying out. They're looking beautiful. Well, it's time to take a look at the smoker. See how that salmon's doing. And when the sun comes up, I'll be on top. you be right down there. Looking pretty looking good. And I'm my way. Come up here, but I don't see you waving now. I'm way down here, wondering how I'm gonna get you. Well, I got all that salmon in the jars with all the seasoning. And I'm starting to put on the and canning. You know, I'm not an expert or anything. I'm just kind of showing you what we do. And there's probably a lot of people out there that have their own methods and are way know way more about it than I. But uh, you got to really clean this edge, of this, this, this edge up on here, and, and not one little speck of food or matter can be on that edge or it won't seal. We got the salmon out of the pressure cooker, and here they are washing the, the oil off. 
And uh, we got another batch going over here. And we are trying it out. You have to open up one of the jars, mix it with a little cream cheese, and then carry it. All night long.